there's one thing that I have to admit to you guys. I want to cry. This is it. It's time to say goodbye to Yuki and G-Play. Goodbye to my succulent who has traveled this whole journey with me from North Carolina to the West, back to the East and has survived. Goodbye to Yuki. I don't know for how long. It could be a year, it could be a month, it could be a couple months. I don't know, I don't plan far ahead, so I never know what's going on. So there's one thing I have to admit to you guys that's been weighing on my mind. I don't know, I have never, never, never really taught how to parallel park properly. See, here where I'm raised in the US, in the country, there's not really a need for it. There's parking spots everywhere and they're really big. In Europe, I know that that is not the case. And I need to practice before I leave. I leave tomorrow. So I'm gonna take Yuki and I'm gonna try to practice. <laughs> I am not trying to wreck in Germany. I don't know how to do this. Boy, I don't even know if I splayed these out right. <laughs> That's tight. Considering I can't see the object behind me, I'm so embarrassed and no one's even watching me. Can you imagine if I'm on a busy street trying to do this? This isn't realistic. This isn't realistic. I admit I had a ton of frustration, but I've practiced a few times and I think I can do it. All right, so pretend this is the road and I'm driving along in my little European van. Here we go. This is the road. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Oh, parking spot. What luck. Better take it. fast learner. I do get frustrated. <laughs> I'm a fast learner, but I'm also a fast forgetter. So hopefully I remember that. This is it. Early morning, time to leave. I'm starting the day off with AG1 as usual. I'll tell you more about them a little later, but they're the sponsor for this video. I take them to get in my minerals, probiotics, and vitamins for the day. Bye, Yuki. I'm kind of dreading having luggage again. This is going to be a very long day of traveling. I have three different flights I have to get on to get to Berlin. And I realized at the very beginning, I left my lithium batteries in my check-in, which is a huge no-no. You're not allowed to do that. My drone batteries. So I was freaking out. And fortunately I have my air tag in my suitcase. So I was tracking it the entire while to see if they like just left my bag behind because I broke the rules or something. But I flew across the world and made it to Frankfurt with my luggage. I usually take supplements every day, but while I'm traveling, it's really hard to carry around a bunch of stuff. So it's cool that I have everything in one with AG1, which by the way, AG1 is a foundational nutrition with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. The past weeks that I've been drinking, I've actually noticed I don't need as much caffeine. My digestion has been really good, and it's nice knowing that I'm replenishing my nutrients even if the rest of my life is going all over the place. I'm very big on nutrition and staying healthy because I wouldn't be able to do what I do if I get sick a lot, especially with how taxing airports and travel is. So you can get the link in the description. AG1 is giving you guys a free year of this vitamin D3 and K2 and five travel packs with your first purchase. Yeah, big thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Finally made it to Berlin and my luggage did too and now we just have to check and see if they threw away my batteries or not. After the airport, I went directly to the spot where I was picking my rental van which was like an hour away and like 60 euros. My GPS took me down this road that didn't really have any turnarounds. First thing. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. I have to pee so bad. I am so not taken care of right now. Um, I have been torturing myself. Is this an actual road? 
road. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the f Ready. How could this start off so bad? Ready? How is this happening right now? What is this? I'm so confused. I got out of it. I'm so frazzled. I can't, I can't do it. Like everything is burning. I'm so sweaty. I'm so, I just, I need to get groceries. So I'm going to the grocery store, but I, <laughs> this is a lot. I'm doing it. I'm driving in Germany, but it is a lot, especially right off the plane. You know, I didn't take any breaks. I've been traveling for days without any sleep straight off the plane. Panicking, not a little bit, but a lot. Um, I went and got groceries. They didn't do cash back, so I can't pay for a camp spot. Uh, my battery is dying on my phone and the charger's not working. I just got honked at. I wanna cry, because I've been traveling for so, so incredibly long. I'll update you when I figure things out. On the Autobahn, the highway from Germany, and a lot of people know that on the Autobahn here there's no speed limit, but there is a speed limit and on some of it. So, <laughs> some of it there's not, but some of it there is. I'm depleted of everything. I failed. I failed today. I didn't fail. I just, I have to give up today. I have to give up. I'll tell you about it later. I've never, like, I don't want to say mistreated myself because I didn't do it. This is just the way that it happened, but I've never felt so run down like it's I don't even I feel like it's been almost three days that I haven't slept yet at all like I didn't sleep at all on that flight I didn't sleep at all the night before I had to go on the flight um, I don't even know what time it is I'm super it's six, six hours ahead I'm not getting aesthetic shots I'm just getting the experience I'm having I didn't even show you the camper van yet which I will this is the moment of truth to see let me check out my batteries there I mean, my vitamins are still bad. Nope, they got them. Wow. Oh, Maybe that's what it is. I physically feel unwell. Yesterday was hard and I really pushed myself because I had to. It doesn't matter anything, you just have to push and that leads to burnout sometimes. I ended up getting a hotel and at first I'm like, oh, I failed. What's the point? What is the point of getting available? It's like, no. I should have gone to a hotel because after the traveling that I did to get here, of course I'm going to feel unwell and um, I need to recharge myself before going. Like van life can be very draining, especially when you don't know the rules and you're really figuring everything out. So having this fresh mind going into it is very, very important. So the reason I did want to come here and do it in Europe is to challenge myself. And to challenge it, it's been... Before I got here, everyone's like, you know, it's really rainy and cold in Germany right now. I'm like, it's fine. But when, the day I got here, the sun chose to show itself and it was blazing hot and very, very humid. And it completely just took everything out of me. I didn't even have time to put on sunblock. I went from straight from the airport after three flights and one of them, um, my flight got, like I wasn't able to make my connecting flight so it had to get rebooked because of a weather delay. And then I had to wait more time, get the connecting flight blah blah blah, got there later than I thought I was going to, and then traveled from Berlin to the outside of Berlin, and immediately went over the whole overview of the of the Volkswagen, which is very, very cute, and I will show you. I'll give you a tour in the next video. I'm sorry that I didn't show it in this video, but like, like I said, I'm trying to be gentle on myself on this trip, and I knew even before coming here that it was gonna be overwhelming to myself doing this by myself. Once I got the vehicle, I'm like, okay, I have a vehicle now, where we're gonna go. So, you know, I'm navigating around a new vehicle, which is, really weird because I feel 
I don't like borrowing things and I didn't realize how much I don't like borrowing things until I have a whole ass vehicle <laughs> that I'm borrowing. I can't, you know, I don't, I'm not that I've tried to put dents and scratches and things I'm not. I don't think I've put any in Yuki. But just the worry that I might, and <laughs> it's stressing me out in the back of my mind as well. There's no parking or camping around here, and I didn't want to, yesterday I did not want to drive hours out, because I, I, was not, I was not okay to drive. I needed to stop somewhere, and that's why I got a hotel south um, of Berlin, and I'm like, this is just the route I'm going to go. Because you have to make choices, and you kind of stick. Which is why I chose this random hotel in the middle of nowhere, because it had parking. <laughs> that's, that's the only my phone wouldn't charge and I looked at the cord and I realized because it was so hot and I'm like I'm telling you how hot it is it was so hot it melted the end of my um phone charger cord so I had to get a new cord as well because my phone was not charging it was almost dead and I was trying to use it for directions I I've been to Germany before so I know the food selection here I got some some fruits I thought that would rejuvenate me and I got boiled eggs here, um, the boiled eggs, they are kept out, they're not refrigerated, which I, I still find very strange. The people here have been amazing so far. Um, I only got beeped at once. Um, other, I should have probably beeped at more, and I know <laughs> that it turns orange before it turns green. Um, there's some, still some signs I need to look up. I studied the signs before I came here. I wanted to find free camping, which was my first mistake. Um, it's a bit ambitious. Here, um, wild camping is not allowed, so. The camping that I was doing in the West is not, not here, but right now I'm feeling very low and humbled and maybe this is a normal learning experience for these types of things. You're not always going to feel confident. In fact, in these foreign countries, you're going to feel very unconfident. Saxon, Switzerland mountains. This is right on the border of Czech and I wanted to go down there because there's like these really cool uh, mountain thingies or something and like just some hikes and stuff. I'm, I'm hoping it's a little bit more nature. I don't know. Time to go now. It's getting really, really, really hot. So fortunately, this has AC in it, um, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna end this video here. This has just been the traveling here to Germany. Hopefully, I'll get like a couple of van life in Germany videos. Thank you so much for coming with me on this unknown adventure. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. This has been a lifesaver, having my vitamins and stuff all in one drink. I did bring a couple of vitamins and they spill all over my suitcase and it's just a headache. So I'm glad that I have a packet so I can just go like this. I'll see you in the next video. Stay extraterrestrial. Bye.